Hi, this is Allison with Allison's Book Corner and I'm going to talk about two memoirs today. And if you know me, you know how much I love a good memoir because you can always learn something from someone else's life. There is a lesson to be learned from other people's lives, okay? So the first one I'm talking about is um, The Siobhan Trenches about Andre Leon Talley. And I'm also going to discuss Open Book by Jessica Simpson. Andre Leon Talley, if you don't know who he is, uh, was always with Anna Wintour, who basically is Vogue magazine. She's the managing editor of Vogue. And Andre was her co-managing editor, creative director for at least 20 years. Um, whenever you saw Anna Wintour on TV or any photographs, Andre was the six foot six guy right next to her in the long flowing capes and caftans. <laughs> but um, just eat fashion, if you love fashion, if you love the red carpet shows on television, he is giving you the behind the scenes stuff on what goes on there and with all the creative personalities. But even if you don't like fashion, he was friends with Andy Warhol. He was there at the beginning of the Studio 54 days and he survived them. He did not get involved in the drug scene. He had many friends who died in the AIDS crisis. So this, this book is really a sweeping story about his fascinating life all of the things in fashion, the behind the scenes with Ralph Lauren, Yves Saint Laurent, Givenchy, all the stuff that many of us love, Louis Vuitton shoes, things like that. I mean, it's really, this book was, I just thought it was yummy. I just was like, I could eat it with a spoon. I just loved reading about his life and all of those great behind the scenes details. If you've seen the movie Devil Wears Prada, I mean, this stuff was great dish on the fashion industry. So I am recommending it and take a look at this book. Now, going on the faith theme, when you get to Open Book by Jessica Simpson, I am recommending this not for the reasons why you think I might be recommending it. Now, we, all of us probably have heard about Jessica. We know that she was a singer who came on the scene with the redo of the Mickey Mouse Club. We know that she sort of started reality TV right along the same time with the Osbournes with her show with her husband, Nick Lachey, at the time, Newlyweds, which basically destroyed her marriage. And she talks about that in the book. So we all know about that. But what I found really fascinating was her religious life. Um, if you have grown up in the church, like I did, if you have been on the pew, under the pew, as a little kid, beside the pew, um, this is a story you can really relate to because her father, who was her manager, um, was also a youth pastor. So they would travel around the United States, um, sort of like an army brat type of life, but it had nothing to do with military. It was just going from church to church where he was um, employed as a youth, in the youth ministry. And it's just, I could relate so much to her church stories, but also um, she was bullied really terribly in high school. She talks about that. I mean, she is very honest, hence the title Open Book. She just tells us about so many things in her life that we can relate to. Um, she was molested as a child. She talks about that. Just really an honest, open book. And she's also the head of a billion dollar empire. Jessica Simpson sells handbags, shoes, accessories. I have a pair of her shoes in my closet. Uh, she's earrings. I mean, she has a billion dollar industry. She's an amazing businesswoman. And she's one of the first, um, as far as artists, singing artists in, in these you know later years to have this amazing empire that she basically built from scratch. Her mom runs runs it with her, and um, this is a great story. I think you're really missing out if you don't read about Jessica Simpson's life, and she seems to be a really nice, kind person in real life, too. So I am recommending this. 